How's it going, everybody? This is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, coming to you with another episode of Tiny Home Tuesday, where every Tuesday, I showcase a particular park model coming in at 399 square feet. And this week, the home goes by the name of the Platinum Tumbleweed. Now, this is a very special Tiny Home Tuesday because we're going to do something that we've never done before, and that show you two platinum tumbleweeds in one episode and we're just going to show you some of the features from one to the next that you can add in your home for your personal sense of style and guys we're starting right here in the tumbleweed that we have the stained SYP going around the home um, you'll see that this has a nice living area this is one of our most popular models and our most beloved models because it is 15 feet in width so you get a larger living area larger master bedroom that can fit up to a king-size bed and guys, you'll see right here that we've got the entertainment center built in, already set for you to go ahead and place your flat screen TV up above there. We've got the, we've got the clear story windows from front to back of the home, bringing in the natural light. I love those. Those need to be added in every park model, in my opinion. We also got the nice flow from the living room to the kitchen, separated by a nice island that is on wheels, so you can roll it out at your convenience. What I would like to do personally is roll it out onto the porch while I'm prepping uh, meals, cooking some steaks on the grill, this is a nice little prep station. You'll see also, we've got the farm sink. This is everyone's favorite. We can do it in white, black, stainless steel, whatever you want, you can add it in. Nice window right above, bringing that natural light as well, and an abundance of cabinet space. And as always, we finish out the top of the cabinet so you can add your personal decor options or if you're the crazy cat lady, you can let your cat run around up there and have its own little tree house here in the tumbleweed. And guys, we went ahead and put the black appliances in here, giving it a nice little touch, keeping it rustic. And you'll see, as we go into the master, like I was saying, it's a 15 wide model, and you'll see the larger master bedroom in here. Everybody that comes in asking about, can they fit a king size bed in a tiny home? The tumbleweed is definitely the one that you can do it in. We've also went ahead with the stain SYP, the Southern Yellow Pine doors, added those for the barn doors here in the closet, rolling at your convenience. We've got the built-in dresser with the space above for your TV to be placed as well. And what I like about this floor plan is that if you need to go to the bathroom, you have two entries. You've got one right here from the master and also one from the main area all closed off by pocket doors that can lock as well. So if you have any guests over, you lock this door, lock the master, and they ain't coming in your bedroom looking at all your personal items. They go right to the bathroom and right back out into the living area. And guys, you come right in here, and you'll see as well, we've got the standard toilet. Again, we ain't doing the compost here. This hooks right into the sewer or septic, perfect for you. Also a stand-up shower with a raised elevation above. So for you tall guys out there and you want over six foot like myself, you can get in there and take a shower at your leisure. Got a nice countertop space right here in the bathroom. Nice linen cabinet for extra storage and plenty of drawers down below. And guys, you follow me back through the house and we'll see right here that we also got your stackable washer and dryer connections. And you thought that was all the space that you had. Nope, we also got a loft in this model. And you'll see right here, one thing that I want to point out in this, this home is that we have actually have the open rise stairs right here for your convenience. Keep that in mind while we go to the next model, but we're going to go ahead and go up here to the loft and you guys follow me up. Now we're up in the platinum tumbleweed and the loft and you'll see with us stretching it to 15 feet in width, you get an abundance of loft space up here. You also see that we went with the linoleum floors up here as well. So for those that don't like the carpet, Guys, this is perfect because you can actually just sweep this out or if you were me, I would take a leaf blower and just blow this thing out and then guys, sweep it out the front door you're good to go. Clean it in five minutes. And you'll see, well, again, we kept the natural light coming in with the clear story windows and we have TV jacks and outlets on both sides. So you can put a couple of TVs up here, have a game tournament going on for the kids, whatever they want to do. And you see we also have the raised peak right here. Makes it perfect to slide in a mattress or a bed uh, for any of the guests to sleep up here as well. Guys, there's enough room up here for three or four twin size beds for a sleepover if you like. Guys, this is a perfect floor plan and the platinum tumbleweed. And let's go ahead and take you over to the next model and see what the difference is in that as well. You guys, hold on one second. 
And like that, we're in the other Platinum Tumbleweed. And as you can see, a few features have changed. You look right behind me, and again, we went with the uh, stained Southern Yellow Pine. A little different, darker coat uh, right here as well than the previous one. And we've also added the white shiplap accents to this home. You'll see we've got it right here in the archway. And we've also went front to back on the ceiling. Adding a nice feature and a little bit goes a long way. Just adding that touch takes it from a rustic style to more of a farmhouse style. I'm going to take you downstairs and show you some more features that have changed in this home as well. Follow me. And now that we're down in the main living space of the Platinum Tumbleweed, you'll see that we made some changes from the previous model. We went back here and went ahead and added the nice shiplap accent for a backsplash instead of the tile that was in the other model. You'll also see that we went with the stainless steel appliances in place of the black from the previous model. We've got a little different countertop color as well, just little features that go a long way. You'll take a look over here and you'll see we went ahead and did the shiplap accent all right here on the wall, again, tying into the overall farmhouse effect. Again, kept everything pretty similar, built-in entertainment center. And we've also went in this model, if you can see that we went with the actual door with blinds in the glass. The other model had the Texas Star door, so that's just showing you some options that you have on your doors as well. And guys, you come right back here, and you'll see that uh, we also remember from the first video we went with the open rise stairs. Well, how about this? We've closed them off and we've got drawers in each stair going up along the way, guys. You can hide your little goodies, whatever you need in there. And you'll see we've also went ahead and changed the door color to match the shiplap. Now you guys come into the master and you'll see we kept that shiplap farmhouse theme going. Add an accent wall in the master. And you'll see right here that we actually changed it up and went from the last model that had the stained southern yellow pine barn doors. We've actually went with the painted white to match the ship lap in this model as well. So same characteristics, just a little different colors. And guys, we still got the built-in drawers down below, uh, the space for the TV up above. And similar layout. Again, it's 15 feet in width, so you can fit a king-size bed in this tumbleweed model. That's perfect for a lot of you guys out there that's been asking me, where can I put a king-size bed? This is the model you can do so. And you'll see that we kept everything pretty similar in the bathroom with the stand-up shower, with the elevated ceiling right there for us taller guys out there. And you'll see, again, countertop space. We went ahead and kept the same uh, countertop from the kitchen. We've got the nice linen cabinets as well. You guys follow me back through, and we'll see right here that we've got the connections for your stackable washer and dryer, very similar to the last model we were in. And like I said, I wanted to do something different with this episode because everyone's been asking what features can be changed, what uh, can be done to change the total look of a home. And in this episode, you can see for yourself, just by very small changes, it can make a big difference in a tiny home. And guys, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another Tiny Home Tuesday with me, Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons. And remember to like, comment, subscribe to my videos. Remember to share with friends and come in to Recreational Resort Cottages here in Rockwall, Texas. Ask for me. Ask about that deal that you can't refuse and ask how I can get you your new tumbleweed.